Hey, it's your Boomer Consumer, and we're looking at the best-selling bookshelf speakers on Amazon at the time of this recording. These are the Edifier R1280T bookshelf speakers. Now, these speakers are just $99 on Amazon, and I am always on the lookout for quality items that offer a lot of value to the viewers of my channel. Now, I've heard so many good things about the Edifier R1280Ts that I decided to reach out to Edifier and ask them to send me a pair for review. So as a disclaimer, these were sent to me at no cost by Edifier. However, all opinions are my own and no one has reviewed this video prior to posting. Now, if you're interested in picking up a pair for yourself, I have my Amazon affiliate link down below. But furthermore, Edifier threw in a 10% coupon code and you can find that down below in the description as well. Let's get this out of the way first. Uh, a lot of people want to know if these have Bluetooth. They do not, nor do they have optical audio in. However, the Edifier R1280DBs, they do. And I also will be reviewing a pair of those in the very near future as well. With over 11,000 reviews and an average rating of 4.7 stars on Amazon, well, these may be one of the best values in the home audio market going today. Now, these speakers are powered and they produce 21 watts per channel. And they also come with two RCA inputs so you can connect things like your PC, your Mac, your Linux machine to it. Any kind of maybe CD player, cassette deck, turntable, media streamer, any kind of device like that. And you won't need to buy a separate amplifier or receiver, anything like that. Just plug in these devices and you're, you're good to go. Now these speakers are designed for a smaller room or maybe even a mid-sized room. And yes, they're plenty loud and they can fill the room with a lot of music without a lot of distortion. Okay, let's get this out of the way. How did I test these speakers? Well, I used a Windows 10 laptop connected to, okay, this is a name you're probably never going to forget. I'm telling you now, it's called the SHIT. That's S-C-H-I-I-T, Modi 3 DAC. It's the SHIT DAC. Okay, I said it. No need to continue. That's actually the company name. Uh, at any rate, I have it connected to their Modi 3 DAC, and then I have it connected to their Magni 3 headphone amplifier, and I use the pre uh, the pre outs of that to connect to the Edifier R1280Ts. So I listened to a wide variety of artists, Sade, uh, Pink Floyd, by the way, the Dark Side of the Moon album sounded incredible on these speakers. Uh, Theon Thelonious Monk was another, Herbie Hancock. So a lot of different musical genres at different listening volumes. So I just wanted to share that bit of information with you as well. Now I use the Amazon HD music service and this music streamed at either 2448 uh, or most of the time it was 1644, which is CD quality. And so very, very good quality streaming um, the, of the music that I was listening to. Now, from now on, I'll just be referring to these as the 1280Ts. The 1280Ts are physically not very large. They're nine and a half inches tall by five and three quarters wide and seven inches deep. So they should be able to fit nicely on most desktops and definitely for the namesake on bookshelves. Now, these are sold by the pair. All right. And each speaker has a four inch woofer. Then there's a half inch silk dome tweeter and a, a tuning port for the bass. A bass port, I'm not sure exactly what you call it, but I call it a bass port. Uh, so each speaker has one of those. And the covers are removable on these if you want to look at that. Now Edifier gives you practically everything you need out of the box to get going with these. Uh, you get a, a RCA cable that terminates in a 3.5 millimeter connector, another pair of RCA cables, and I think about six foot of speaker wire to connect the active speaker to the passive one. On the active speaker, which would be the left speaker, I believe, that's where you're going to find a, an LED light that uh, comes on when they're powered up. And then you're going to find a control for, for the uh, volume, one for the bass, and one for the treble. So you have those. It comes with a small remote that handles muting, volume up, down, power on and off. And another button, I think, that's supposed to expand the sound stage. It works, but it really does affect how well the music sounds on these. So I just went ahead and turned it off. On the back of the left speaker, you're going to find two 
uh, RCA inputs. Again, this is for connecting various devices. And by the way, they automatically switch when one quits uh, playing, you turn one off, the other one will play through there. So it's uh, no, no buttons to push anything like that. Uh, you have the spring-loaded um, speaker clips, which I kind of wish there were binding posts on there, but okay, for the price, remember, these are a $100 set of speakers. Uh, you also have a subwoofer out as well as the power off and on switch. Okay, I'd like to give you a small demo that I recorded. Now I'm using a Rode VideoMic Pro, so it's probably not going to be the best way to give you an overall idea, but it's the best that my equipment can come up with. Have a listen. So here's my take. Uh, I think these speakers punch way above their price range. I think to find anything that sounds uh, better, you're going to have to spend probably at least triple the money that you will for these. The bass is tight without sounding thumpy, if, if you know what I mean. It is tight and it's solid and, and it's really surprising given the four inch speakers on here or the four inch woofers. But all in all, I was pretty impressed with the bass response to these. Now, as far as the mid-range, the vocals, uh, nice and crisp without sounding muddy at all, which I've run into in a lot of less expensive or even the same price or even a little higher price speaker with kind of a muddy vocal. Uh, vocals were actually quite pleasing on there. Now the half inch silk dome tweeters uh, gives you a nice bright uh, high end without oversaturation. Uh, so all in all, I would say these speakers probably don't sound super warm. They're probably more, more neutral or lean more towards neutral. But with a nice undertone of the tight bass, I think they sound very, very good, especially given that price. Remember, you're paying under $100 for a pair of really nice speakers. Now, as far as the construction, these are made out of what's called MDF wood, which is kind of a fiberish type material with a wood grain vinyl wrap and it's nicely done. I think that they'll be pleasing in just about any decor. So if you're looking to upgrade your desktop computer audio, maybe you want to start streaming music. By the way, I plugged in a little Echo Dot uh, into it. It sounded just fine. Or if you want to try out the whole thing with turntables now, a lot of people are uh, using those with them, or maybe you want to use a CD player, an auxiliary device, your phone, if it has a, headf a headphone out jack. You can do all this at a reasonable, really affordable price. But again, we're talking under $100. There's no receiver, preamp, amp hanger. It's all built in, part of the package. Well, in my final analysis, I can't really find much fault given the price of the Edifier R1280Ts. I think uh, I do wish they had some binding posts instead of spring loaded clips, but that's a very, very nitpicky thing. I also wish that they came in available in a different color, such as black, uh, would look very, very nice for certain decors. But I really, folks, I can't find a whole lot to complain about given the, the apparent quality of these speakers. I love the sound. I, I failed to mention the sound stage is. The, the presence of these speakers is quite good given their size. They're not going to compete against five and six, $800 bookshelf speakers, but with really not the market that they're in, but they do a great job for what they cost. And that's it. Bruce Naylor, your boomer consumer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.